Over the last few years, we've watched as the sports world has been completely and totally infected by woke virtue signaling, not just here in America, but everywhere around the globe, including Australia. And when one Australian rugby team decided they were going to virtue signal by changing their jersey and put rainbows on it for pride, well, some of their players had a problem with that, and now they are being attacked by the mainstream media for not wanting to be a part of this virtue signaling. Here's the jersey in question uh, with, oh, it's so, so inclusive. Look at how much we care about the gay people with our rainbows on our jerseys. Well, seven Manly Sea Eagles players stand down over club's pride jersey. And the Manly Sea Eagles are the name, not just describing those seven people as manly. I'm not a big uh, rugby guy, but we do have a couple people on the Geeks and Gamers and Sports Wars team that are. And Lyndon sent me this article, uh, and I'm absolutely going to talk about this because this is complete and total bullshit. Seven Manly Seagulls players have told the club they will stand down for Thursday's game due to the club's pride jerseys. The fact that you ha you are forced to play and, and virtue signal for something when maybe you don't think it's something people need to be proud about. Maybe you don't agree with the lifestyle, but you're being forced to wear it anyway because sports leagues want a virtue signal. That's ridiculous. So these guys have had to basically come out and say, no, I'm not going to play if you're going to make us wear those jerseys. Now they are under attack over their beliefs. The Manly Seagulls have been thrown into turmoil ahead of their Thursday night contest against the Sydney Roosters after a player revolt over their pride jerseys. Seven players have sensationally stood down after the club announced the pride jersey featuring rainbow stripes and trim would be worn as a one-off this week. The players in question are all of these guys. I don't know if these are huge, impactful players to them. I, I, I do not know. I'm not a big follower of Australian rugby. They were reportedly opposed to wearing the jerseys due to their religious beliefs. Manly held an emergency meeting on Monday night with the players in question. The club will now face the Roosters without them. Coach Des Hassler told his players he would support their decision to stand down. Manly will become the first club in rugby history to wear a jersey celebrating inclusivity with rainbow colors replacing the traditional white piping. What a milestone. So inclusive. Now everybody will know that gay people exist. I'm sure that'll be very helpful. The Sea Eagles major sponsor is a gambling company while their home stadium is named after an alcoholic brewing company. Uh, and I guess, I guess some people, I guess that's, important because why because they're not they're okay with being associated with gambling or with drinking but not with gay pride maybe that's their personal decision Seahawks great Ian Roberts the first rugby player to come out as openly gay was left heartbroken by the player revolt I try to see it from all perspectives but this breaks my heart it's sad and uncomfortable as an older gay man this isn't unfamiliar I did wonder with whether there would be any religious pushback I think that's why NRL never had a pride round you know what not everybody has to see the world from your perspective not everyone needs to be forced to wear something virtue says signaling over gay pride. This shouldn't be that hard to understand, but also often the people that are pushing this stuff, they don't care if you have another opinion. They want you to have the right opinion or else you get canceled or else you get blasted. And that's what a lot of different members of the media are doing as well. Social media erupted. Wide worlds of sports. Matt Bungard wrote, I don't want to hear one single thing about respecting other people's opinions or using, using religion as a crush a crutch while being homophobic. No issues playing at a stadium covered in alcohol or gambling sponsors, which is also a sin. What a joke. So these guys are now under fire. These guys are being attacked simply because they don't want to have gay pride plastered all over a uniform that they're wearing, that they're representing. There should be no issues with these guys not having to wear this if they don't want to push that message, yet they're being forced to not play because they don't want to wear it. And now everyone's coming after them over their opinions. We've seen it multiple different times. We saw the Tampa Bay Rays players who didn't want to wear the rainbow stuff. And guess what? They didn't have to. They weren't forced here in Major League Baseball. They weren't forced to wear the gay pride bullshit. But there in Australia, apparently, they're forcing you to do it or you got to sit on the bench. And if you do decide to sit, we're going to blast you for it. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.